There's been a lot written about the flies you cast with a fly rod, but you don't hear too much about the kind of flies that we use to catch panfish with spinning gear. If you've watched any of my pan fishing videos, you know that I'm a big fan of throwing flies under a little float. Fishing with flies for panfish is a technique that's been around for literally centuries, but for some reason it doesn't enjoy that much popularity here in the Chesapeake region. One of the first mentions of fishing with a fly was back during the Roman Empire when it was written that the Macedonians would use chicken feathers tipped with a little bit of wool to catch fish. Not much has changed in the last 20 centuries. One of the most popular styles of feather flies is called a Popeye fly after a gentleman from Rogersville, Tennessee named Byron Popeye Leonard. The fly seen made out of dried chicken feathers and melted down radiator cores became well known all over the country. Another common kind of fly is made out of deer hair and nicknamed a bucktail. We sometimes use bucktails for rockfish, but smaller versions are great for catching perch, crappie, and bluegill. One significant variation of a bucktail fly is called a shad dart. Shad darts were invented in the Chesapeake Bay watershed by the Pequay Tackle Company up in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. The original version was made with a turkey feather and was called a quilby. The angular shaped heads are designed to flit erratically through the water. Some families still refer to shad darts as quilbies. Another one of my favorite kinds of flies is known as a doll fly. They were invented by Elmer Doll Thompson and at one time mass produced by thousands per day. In later years, almost any kind of a hair fly was referred to as a doll fly, but an original doll fly had one important characteristic. They were made from polar bear hair, which is said to be the most prismatic hair known to exist. When it refracts sunlight in the water, the white hair lights up with all the colors of a rainbow. If you haven't tried fishing for panfish with a fly, I suggest you give it a try. I bet you'll like the results. Now let's go fishing.